there, there's this individualism that is associated with kind of Sudbury. Is that something that is challenging? She talked about, about balancing that sort of individualism against sort of membership in the community. How does that mm. land for you guys? Definitely. Everybody has to collaborate as a member of the community. It wouldn't work otherwise. You know, mm -hmm. there, there are resources that have to be shared, for example, even just the talking about the technology. And so we have some limited, you know, tablets and, and laptops, but they're shared. So people can only they have they can only use uh, use them for a certain amount of time or they have to be replaced in a certain place, for example, or we have a small astro pitch. I mean, only maybe 15 people can play on it at once. We have 85 people here. They have to share this resource. So th there's a lot of sharing and a lot of, it it's, it's just a necessary part of life here that you have to consider mm -hmm. others. So I think that individualism is quite naturally balanced in that sense. Mm -hmm. So obviously everyone has personal freedom, so nobody's forced to do anything that they don't wish to do. Um, but I think that's essentially a, a positive, you know, but then mm -hmm. we, we all want to be social. So inevitably you overcome that individualism quite naturally again yourself, because you, you, you want to be part of the community and not isolate. Right. So I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't really see that. I, I, it seems to me like what you said right at the beginning, the environment and cultivate the environment is what's important and the mm -hmm. parameters of the environment are such that that individualism and community balance this is the agentic schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills i'm your host don berg